Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our road to glory run with Farsley Celtic, now in League One. Had an amazing season last year, even if we did fall a little short at the end. It was a little disappointing. A little bit of FMing along the way. I think we should have destroyed the league even more than we did, but we got promoted. So let's see if we can continue that success in League One and make it to the championship. Let's get into it. Here is our end of season review. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Like I said, it's a great season, so there's really not, not much bad to talk about. We'll just we'll just ignore the FMing a bit. Um, great, great guys came in. We got Gwyn coming in here. Uh, he hasn't really developed as much as I would hope, and he probably has a little bit lower ceiling than I would like to see. So it's possible if we can get some value for him, we might move him on at some point. Uh, Bennett, obviously, we played him a lot. We love him. Tall boy, six foot, six foot seven. <laughs> Insane. Uh, I mean, we'd love to him to be a little bit faster. Obviously, uh, he's tall. He's got decent jumping reach. His heading is atrocious. So seeing that get a little bit better would be nice as well. Uh, Peters came in. Peters was, um, I thought Peters did okay. And he obviously got a 7.17 over the course of the season. He's obviously a great player. I don't think we're going to be able to bring him back or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'd have to pay some money for him. I think that's the part that they didn't like. That we paid a little bit of money for him. Trey obviously did great. Got him on a free. Josh Lewis uh, did pretty good. Got him on a free. And then kind of went down from there. You know, I mean, nothing. nobody like especially bad. But maybe just a few guys that just didn't quite reach the level that we want. A Conquo, A+. I'd love to see that. Um, we can get 475k for him if he decided to move on at some point, which would be huge. Uh, anybody who went out. Oh, Connolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let, we let Connolly go out for some money. And we were able to loan him back in. So good stuff for that. Are able to get him back and then Khan, yeah, that looks good. And then loans out. The only one that went out was Gaja here, which I guess we could have gotten some more money for him. We didn't really have a lot of loanies that went out. Uh, again, we got promoted here. Obviously, automatic promotion. Looks like four. It's crazy that four teams get promoted out of here. We were in a league of our own up here with Exeter and Northampton. We were just us three were just up there. Obviously, it came down to that last game against Exeter. I mean, it shouldn't have, and we should have taken care of business sooner, uh, especially with the 56 goal differential. But it is what it is. Our big thing is that our attendance is low. That being said, we're only 20% filling up our current stadium, apparently. Or is this the stadium that we were temporarily? That might have been the temporary stadium. Either way, I don't think we would have filled up even our home stadium. A-plus across the board. Obviously, uh, they love that. Uh, Bennett obviously picking up the most goals there. James Jones picking up most goals in the FA Cup. Uh, we did make it all the way up to the Premier League. Unfortunately, we had to play that game at home, which was very disappointing. But it is what it is. Carabao Cup. Uh, we did get knocked out pretty early against this one. That was not a good result. Uh, we did make it pretty far in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. Uh, lost to Huddersfield Town in the very end there. I think we could have... That was a semifinal? Yeah, semifinal. I think we could have made it to the final. Should have made it to the final, but it is what it is. Let's see here. Biggest win was against AFC Wimbledon. Our match, remember, was against MK Dons. And picking up a 3-1 victory there. Goal of the season came against Tranmere 3-0 in our January 30th matchup. Let's go see if we can watch this goal real quick. I forgot to see which goal it was. Was it the Bennett goal? I think it was the Bennett goal. No, that was a penalty. It had to have been the Connolly goal. Yeah, this this wouldn't be the goal of season. <laughs> There's no way a penalty is the goal of season. It looks like we had two penalties in this game. He's picking up a penalty here. And then we should see the Connolly go here, which is must be the goal of the season. There's Connolly. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice shot. Nice shot. We're going to be missing Connolly this next season, of course. Um, but we got Bennett. Uh, we still got Jones, maybe. Hopefully. Although he does want to leave. We'll see. Did get a big chunk of prize money. Uh, match day commercial retail went down a little bit. Corporate hospitality was up. Rycrest revenue was up a lot, obviously. Uh, and it's going to go up even more this next year, you would think. Number one seller was Bennett. Jones, Conquo, Lloyd, and Taylor. All right. Good stuff there. Here's how we lined up. Conquo and Go. Lewis on the left. Bill is on the right. Lloyd and Ward in the middle. That sounds pretty normal. Powell and Heath. I mean, our midfielders, defensive midfielders, they're good. They're not great. And they're not a great partnership. So we need to figure that one out for sure. Uh, Peters on that left wing. Torrey on the right. I mean, our front four. Outstanding. Peters, Torrey, Jones, and Ben. I'm actually surprised Jones gets the nod here instead of Connolly. But uh, I'm okay with that. He's our player. So we'll see what he can do with him. He's He's got some room to develop still too, right? He can be up to four and a half star player. I think this is a good, good combo. And I'm hoping we can convince him to stay now that we're getting promoted up. Uh, we did win from Manager of the Month twice. Uh, top fans player of the season was Edward Bennett. Uh, young player of the season was Edward Bennett. 
Signing of the season was Edward Bennett. <laughs> goal of the season came from Connolly. We saw that one. Top goal score, Edward Bennett, 32 goals. Uh, most assists, uh, Toure. We're going to be having to replace him. we got to figure out how, how that's going to work. Most player of the match awards, Bennett, of course. Average rating, Bennett, of course. Passes, Ben Ward. And then we got some record breakers in Bennett, Ojungu, um, and Bellows. Worst discipline was Bellows. Oh, okay. 19 yellow cards. Well... Hopefully Billows figures that one out as well. Uh, Billows is a little confusing right now, and I'll take we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. Once far as I got rolling midway through the season, it looked hard to stop them going on to... Yeah, I mean, we we just... We were outstanding. Outstanding. I still... I'm a little little disappointed. I, I, I have to let go of those disappointments, though. We've got to be happy with what we've done. Uh, here is our best 11 squad who came in. Uh, Finley Heath came in as our best defensive midfielder. Good stuff. Uh, Luca Davis comes in here on the um, defense. Oh, he must be coming on the bench. Yeah, there he is. And he's going to be a guy for the, for the future. Akonkwa comes in here on the bench. And then Josh Powell comes in here on the bench, right? Yep. So a couple guys that we are going to be keeping around that should be able to develop and do some good stuff going forward. Uh, we did pay a bunch of money there. We got a bunch of money for uh, solidarity payments. So I'm assuming our finances are looking all right. We did just get a little bit of a bump. In our youth development, I think we're up to level four or something like that, whatever it is. Uh, we had to pay like 175k for that, but it seemed like a reasonably good thing for us. All right, we now have to take a look at the squad here. Oh, man. So here's here's the combination, right? We've got to do a combination of who do we want to keep, who do we can continue to develop, but also who can we sell on for some money, right? Um, I mean, obviously, I'm pretty disappointed with the fact that... Uh, we sold him for 48k and then he turns around and he's worth like several million now. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? Sometimes you gotta sell for what you gotta sell for. It is what it is. Um Yeah, let me take a look at this for a second. So if we go look at based off of average rating, I mean Dermot Me, he can go away. Although we do need a backup of some sort. So maybe he just needs to stay as a backup. We do still have Lot and Green technically. So either one of those guys can be a backup, the other one can move on. It's not going to give us much money. Uh, is either of them about to... Okay, actually, Lawton Green's going to expire, so we'll just let him move on his merry way. We'll probably keep Dermot Me as our backup for now, and that'll be fine. Um, Joe Rye. Joe Rye can get expired. That's going to be fine with me there. Who else do we have that's expiring? Cummings. Cummings can expire. Obviously, Matt Jordan's about to move on. We never even used him. Logan Pie. He actually played well for us a few times, but we'll probably let him expire. We definitely want to renew Luca Davis. Luca Davis has a lot of potential. So if we can, we would like to renew Luca Davis. Pretty much anybody, Luca Davis and up, if we if we could. That looks good. We would like to renew them. Obviously, Dan Hughes here, probably not worth renewing. So we need to take a look at some of those, I guess. Um, let me start at the top and work my way down. Guys that we definitely... I think we want to keep Gwen. He, only, he didn't play much for us, but I think he's got enough room to develop that we would like to keep him if at all possible. So, um, I'm going to work through some of these. James Jones, we definitely want to keep. Oluwabori. Ah, part of me wants to keep Oluwabori, but surely we can get a better player than that going into this next league. I don't know if he can make the step up. Let me go through this. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's go look at the squad pattern for a second. So, again, Conquo obviously is going to be our starter here. Uh, on the left-hand side, We've got to figure out a better player for the left-hand side. I think that's a big one. Uh, we do have... Do we have you coming in? Do we have anybody coming in that don't have currently? Yeah, we got Chuck Luma coming in. And we have McDonald coming in on the right-hand side. And then we have Holder as a defensive midfielder and Mons as a defensive midfielder. So we got a few guys already coming in that I have forgotten about, quite frankly. So we got to take a look at those and see what they're going to look like. Um, definitely need somebody on the left wing. Definitely need somebody on the right wing since we lost both of our loanies there. Strikers... Um, let me ask the assistant to suggest for everything. Because why don't we have... Oh, is Jones uh, stuff about to expire? Yeah, we need to try to renew him as well. So let me go through and renew everybody. And then we'll take a look at the squad here in a bit. And we'll figure out what we're missing. All right. We have renewed a few contracts. I think with three or four, something like that. Uh, we've got Luca Davis. We got was Jones, maybe. And then... Oh, who was the other one? I know we did at least three. Oh, Gwen. I think we ended up renewed Gwen. Gwen, that might have been it, actually. It might have just been the three. Uh, pretty much everybody else. 
there's a lot of people are going to be just released at this point. Honestly, they're just not going to be good enough to make the step. And we need to use that money to try to get people who can. Now, flip side of that is some of these not great people <laughs> could have been cheaper. Um, so it's possible we might just struggle for money, but we got, we got a good chunk of money. We can get at a thousand pounds per week, which is probably what we're looking for. We can get, we don't even need 20 players. We can get 15 at like 1200 pounds per week, something like that. That's probably pretty solid. And we still got a little bit of transfer budget, which we're obviously going to try not to use. And we can just move that over into wages. Actually, it's only a couple thousand more. I'll leave it there just in case something comes up. But for overall, we're probably going to actually, you know, what? I'm just going to move it over. We're not going to be using the transfer budget at all. We'll do that. So I guess it's 39. So that's, that's a big chunk of money, guys. That's a big chunk of money. So if we go look at the squad planner, goalkeeper, I think we're set. I mean, Conk was going to be a good starter. Derm and me can just stick around as a backup in emergency. We'll go with that one-two punch right there. Um, left back. I mean, I would love for this guy to come in here and develop and do something, but we need some time with him. I think he needs some needs some time to be able to be that guy. So most likely not who we're looking for. Um, hmm. I mean, Billows should be our right back, hundred percent. The bill is going to be our right back. We need to get him somebody who can help him. But Munz is going to be his backup. And I think that's actually pretty fair. Uh, Munz is currently a little bit injured, but I think he'll be a good right. Well, do we want to train him as a right back? He's actually his crossing's garbage. If anything, we want to retrain him as a defensive midfielder and just let him do that. Got good teamwork, good work rate, good bravery. Honestly, defensive midfielder is probably exactly what we want this guy to do. So Munz comes off this list. Uh, that leaves Hughes, who can play backup. He's not great, but he could be a backup if we need him. Finley Heath's not going to be here, so probably somebody else here would be ideal, but if we have to deal with this, this is not a terrible one-two punch. Um, Chakuma, definitely on the left. Taylor, Taylor can go up and down that left-hand side. Powell, Powell's going to be our in defensive midfield, so I think I, we don't, we're not going to use Bellows. We definitely need a defensive back on the left, right? Uh, I mean, for now, it looks like it might be Taylor as our starter because I don't think this guy's going to be quite ready yet. So something like that. But ideally, Taylor becomes... I would rather keep Taylor as a backup because um, we need him to be able to be flexible and go up you know, up and down the left-hand side as needed. So let me start writing some of this down. Um, just to kind of help me keep track of where we're at as soon as I can... I take a lot of notes. <laughs> uh, okay. So we do ne definitely need a left back. Defensive left. Uh, we definitely need a starter on that left-hand side. Uh, it's possible we can make do with these two guys as backups for now. On the right, Billows, I think we keep as a starter. He's going to continue to develop. He's going to continue to better. Hughes could... Like, I'm going to hold off on this one. If we can find somebody, I'm not going to say no. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. I think Munz either needs to be a defensive center back or a defensive midfielder. He's a hard work. I'm going to leave. I want to keep him as a defensive midfielder. I'd like to train him up for that. Bill is obviously not going to be here. That leaves Lloyd and Davis, which two both guys have great potential. But we definitely need some more defensive center backs. So uh, just two something. I don't even know what, how I'm going to label this. If we get two starters where these guys can come in as subs, that's great. If these guys have to be our starters, I think they will continue to develop and be good. So we're going to just say two, honestly, just two bodies of anything. If they're, again, we could be happy with uh, starters, but it's not the end of the world if they're not. Uh, all right, so Holder here. Currently, our other guy's not in this list. So let's go under, uh, under team. How do I, I want to add... Uh, what was his name? Munz. I want to add Munz to this list. He's not ready yet, but I'd like to add him to this list and just know that he exists. Um, obviously we'd like to continue to train Garba. Garba has so much potential. We can get him there. Billows is not going to be a guy here. Lloyd is not going to be a guy here. Heath, yes. Powell, yes. Although Powell can play on that left side if we've got an overload here. Garba, 100%. We would like to keep getting him trained as needed if we can get him some something. So I think Heath becomes our primary starter power. I mean, Heath and Power are just going to stay the starters. And then these other guys are just going to kind of float in there. We could probably make do with this. 
a little bit of an upgrade here wouldn't be bad, but we're going to go ahead and just start with this, and we'll circle back if we have money at the end. Left winger, yes. So attacking midfielder on the left-hand side. 100% we need a starter. And honestly, I actually think we need a backup because I would like Ellis Taylor just to be kind of a third player, basically, and not be one we count on. James Jones could fulfill the striker spot over here. And obviously, we got Gwen who can get his way up there. Uh, Taylor, again, I'm not going to count on him. Gwen's just not... I don't know if he's ever going to make it. I think he's worth kind of trying to get him some stuff, get him developed, but I don't think he's ever going to make it. We got a Jungu. We got Gwen here. So Gwen's obviously not going to stay here. Jungu, I don't know how good Jungu's going to make be able to make that step up. Really, we need a right winger. We definitely need a right winger. So we need a starter, I think, over there to kind of make up for Ture leaving. It's possible we can make do with these guys as backups. Not great, but it's possible. And as far as striker, I think we need another striker as well. Just a body. Bennett and Jones could probably hold down the fort. So let's just say a body. If it becomes a starter, awesome. If not, then we'll make an adjustment there. So that's at least two, three, four, five, six, seven people for sure. Let me go get these seven people. And then we'll take a look at this again and figure out where we can be a little... Let's go get our seven needs. And then once we've got our seven needs, we can see how much money we have left over for some some niceties. You know what I mean? Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So I'll be back once we've done some more work. All right, we're back. Transfers have been done, or at least mostly done, right? We um, got a tiny bit of money. We're probably going to save for trying to get a couple of loanies in at some point. Hopefully we get the loanies in for free. But if there's a couple that, you know, relatively cheap, we might pay a little bit of wages. We'll see. But not a lot. I mean, we did get, what, eight guys coming in? Uh, one guy went out on loan, so I'm not worried about him right now. Uh, a lot of older guys, which I'm not super happy with that. And we did bring in three three other guys that we had uh, in on loan last year as well. So let's start with Mohamed Abu Fani here. Comes in here at 30 years of age, but by far our best defensive midfielder. Uh, looks pretty solid. I say by far. I mean, he's, he's, he's a bit better than Chai Holder here. But he's going to look pretty good. Uh, I mean, he's just a valuable player. Israeli, 51 caps for Israel. Um, played well in Hungary, you know, a couple seasons ago. He's old. But you know what? We don't we don't need him for very long. We just need him for a year or two and see what he can do. We're paying a lot of money for him. Uh, we've got him for a single year contract. If we can just get him to get us something going here, then I think he will he will he'll be good for us. Uh, Ethan Bartlow comes in here. Another older gentleman, uh, 28 years of age. Uh, center back. Uh, he's actually coming in here as basically our best center back alongside John Lloyd. So he looks pretty good. Six foot tall. Uh, 12 jump reach, 11 hunting's not amazing. But uh, he's played in the MLS in Houston. We'll see how he makes the transition over here to England. Again, it's a free player. Just to see if we can get us over a year here, whatever. Uh, we do need to go ahead and bring Peters back. Uh, as we guys, you already know about him. Comes in on a free. Hopefully he can continue his performance there. So it's good to have him in permanently here uh we do have a guy named josh newfill uh comes in here 27 years of age so again a little bit older not amazing but currently our best uh right winger so we might be able to play james jones there but we also might be playing this guy a lot we'll see he's not like incredible he was only on 6.74 last year in league two at sutton but again free player beggars can't be choosers type of thing we'll see how it goes uh james edmondson comes in here 22 years of age uh, he can play up and down the middle. He can play on the left. He can play on the right. So mostly brought him in for his flexibility, even though he's not like amazing as a player. I mean, he can technically even play as a striker. Um, really just a flexible player that's only on a K per week. We'll see what he can do. Just gives us some 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 depth. That's really all he does. Uh, he comes in here, obviously, from Bradford City, uh, who was in League One last year. They played 10 games. Not great. Looks like he doesn't play well in League One. But again, a player that can play all over the place. That's some good depth. We're not going to probably start him that much, but at least we have options with him. Uh, Matt Jordan comes back. He, I mean, he didn't play a, like amazingly well for us. I mean, 22 appearances, 21 of those were substitute appearances. So he comes in here as a sub option, but also as a player that's 19 years of age that could also get quite a bit better. So we'll see what he can do. Six foot two, you know, good jump reach, good heading. I don't think we really got good use of him last year. I mean, the fact that he was a loney kind of mean, meant that I didn't play him as much as I probably could have. But um, now that he's ours, we'll see what we can do with that. Jack Baldwin comes in here. He is super old, but again, solid player. 
could give us some either rotational depth or something. Um, he's played in the Premier League in Scotland, so we know he can play at a decent level. Again, and he's going to bring in some experience. We'll see. He's veteran, you know, veteran center back here. Hopefully he can bring up, we got a bunch of young guys. So if he can come in here, help out the younger, younger guys a little bit. Again, some rotation. I don't know if he'll start for us, but he'll at least be able to rotational player who looks like he's got some skills, some decent, decent ability. And then finally, we did go and bring Josh Lewis back. We know he played well for us last year. Uh, we'll see what he can do for us this year. Uh, he comes in here basically as our starting left back because Billows will obviously be on the right. And I think it's good to have a guy that we know has played well for us in the past. So not a huge, huge left on the team, I would say. Again, we're trying to get some loanies in. Obviously, we already looked at last year the four um, youngsters that are brought in that are going to hopefully get trained up as well. We'll see what they can turn into. But the squad as it stands looks a little bit like this. Let me just ask the assistant so just for everything. All right, so the squad as it is right now, we got a Conquo, obviously, and go on the left side. I didn't show you this guy. This guy's going to be joining us in January. Uh, this guy named Matt Mateus August Augusto, uh, five foot nine, a little bit short, but he can play up and down this left hand side. Technically, could be retrained on the right hand side as well. Not great on crossing. We'll see what he can do. He's got good teamwork, good bravery. Just looks like a player that could develop into something. Uh, we're obviously bringing him in on a free from Brazil. Uh, if you look at his overall overview, I mean, he he was a gamble, right? It's a guy that we're gambling on. We're not paying anything for. Sometimes you got to take these gambles. Sometimes they pay off. Sometimes they don't. So I'm not too worried about him. He'll be joining us in January, like I said. And of course, we got the other four guys here. So back to the squad planner. If he does come in, if he does look as good as he looks like he could be, he might be our starting left back. But until then, Josh Billis comes in here as a starter. I'm sorry, Josh Lewis comes in the starter. Billis will be on the right-hand side. We do have Josh Powell. We do have Chuck Wuma, a youngster there, and Ellis Taylor that can play up and down that left-hand side. Right side, Billis probably our starter. Um, Munz could technically play there. Hughes can play there. Heath can play there. So we got a little bit of depth. We know Billis can play. We'll see what he can do if he can make the step up. Center backs, uh, we got the new guy, Bartlow. We got John Lloyd, of course, that we've had before. Baldwin can come in here as rotational. Um, we got Chuck Wuma could technically play there if we needed him to. Billows, of course, can. We got a lot of optional depth. depth. And same as we were last year. Sorry, yawning for football manager. Uh, same as we were last year. We got a lot of youngsters. If these youngsters fulfilled their full potential, we got an amazing team. Sometimes you got to play them to see if they fulfill that. We'll see what happens. Uh, in the defensive midfield, we got Lloyd. We got Fani. Uh, of course, we got Heath. We got Powell. So... I think we're pretty solid there, and a couple of the center backs uh, can play in the uh, defensive midfield as well. Left wing, we got Peters coming back. Uh, Augusto could play there if we need him to. Uh, Newfield could play on that left-hand side if we need him to. And, of course, we have Taylor. So not a huge step up, but we know Peters played well over the last year, so we can do here. Uh, Newfield comes in as our starter on the right-hand side. Again, maybe not amazing. Uh, Jones could play there if we need to in a pinch. Of course, we got Gwen. We got Moult. Um, Plenty of options, not necessarily the most skilled players right this second, but a lot of these guys have the potential to get better. Uh, and then, of course, strikers. Primarily, we're going to have Bennett and Jones probably as our strikers. I tried to get this guy, Wooten. He did not come in. Uh, he went with somewhere else, unfortunately. He looked like he would have been a good pickup, even at 31 years of age. We still have a guys, the odds. We still have a Jungu. Um, and, of course, Peters can play up there. Uh, Newfoundland can play up there. Gwen can play up there. So we got some options. I would like to get us a, a probably a loney striker. If I had if I had to get any loans, I'd like to get us a good solid loan striker. Uh, maybe a right winger. Um, that's probably the two big things I'd be looking for in the loney section of things. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's the team. Uh, here's probably the team we're going to be bringing for the first game. Something like that. We're going to stick with the 4-2-4 for now. Might change things up. We do have some guys that can play center back. So... We decided to go with something like, well, maybe not that, but like some sort of 4-2-3-1. We do have some guys that can play in that center back. In fact, you know what? Let's just set one up real quick. Clear that slot. Clear that slot. Let's add in a, let's just see what we got. Uh, probably some sort of wing play. That's fine. Actually, these aren't going to be, you know what? Change my mind. Let's go back. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Maybe some sort of gag and press. Something like that. And if we just said, hey, quick pick our best 11. So Edmondson would come in here as the center, uh, attacking midfielder in the center. We've still got Jones up front or Bennett, probably. Obviously, that, that kind of kind of rotate around. 
Um, can I have these guys play uh, attacking midfielder? New. I mean, I know that uh, Jones can play on the right. He can't play in the middle currently. Uh, Powell, obviously these two back here. I mean, it really is the, everything from bigger back is the same. So really what we lose here is we lose Bennett to pick up Edmondson. I don't think we'll ever go with that. Um, so more than likely this was going to stick it for now and we'll see where that gets us because we do have two reasonably good strikers. Although they don't look as good with Abu Fani coming here and <laughs> making everybody look a little bit worse. Uh, but that's that. I mean, our first game up is going to be against Cambridge. Uh, probably skip over the Carabao Cup first round against Middlesbrough. And we'll come back for the Millwall game after that. So probably the next episode will be the Cambridge-Millwall pairing. Uh, as far as the competition a preview, dead last. Great stuff. Uh, hopefully we can overachieve that and at least stave off relegation bottom four teams get relegated because of course that makes sense because the top four teams in the league below get put promoted can we just be 20th that's all we need to be is 20th we played some guys in league one last year did pretty well against the guys in league one of course some of these guys came up with us exeter northampton uh who was the other one do, 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 do. i don't remember who the other one was um but those guys i guess we could look here Crawley. Crawley came up with us. So we'll see what happens. I just hope we can... I mean, I don't know. I don't. I have no expectations, honestly. Love to avoid relegation, but I just couldn't find any players. I really couldn't. And we just need a, we need a, we need a year at this level to try and hopefully do some good scouting and find some good players that we can bring in. Also, we need just some of our youngsters to develop. If our youngsters start to develop, we've got a really good chance, but they've got a long ways to go before they get where we need them to be. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Next episode again, first game of the first couple of games of the season. I will be keeping my eyes open for some loanies, as I mentioned. We might not be able to get them until the end of the transfer window when they people sometimes throw them out there for free. We shall see. But I'm I'm mostly happy with the team. I just I like the team's future. I just don't know if the present is good enough to stay up or not. We shall see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.